Hi everyone, this is Noah from Elementor. Today I'll show you how to use the testimonial widget. With this widget, you can take the basic testimonials and turn them into something unique and creative. Let's begin by clicking on the Edit with Elementor button. Now let's search for the widget in the search bar and drag it to wherever the blue line is displayed. Once the widget is in its place, you will see the Edit Testimonial area with the three tabs Content, Style, and Advanced. In the Content area, you have full control over the testimonial content. Here you can see the Content field where you could insert the content text. And you can add an image from the Media Library. You also have the Name field where you could insert the name. and the job field and image position which sets whether the image is positioned next to the name and job or above the name and job and you have the alignment left center or right please note that it sets for the entire widget and not only the name and job all right, that was the content area. Let's move on to the style area. In the style area, you have full control over the style options for the content, image, name, and job. In the content area, you have the color. In the topography, you have size. Font. Let's pick Droid Serif. You have Weight, Transform, as in uppercase, lowercase, or capitalize. Style, let's pick Italic. Line Height, let's go with one and a half. And Letter Spacing which sets the space between the letters of the testimonial contents. Those were the content style options. Let's move on to the image. Now here we have creative options for the image. For example, image size, where you could set the exact size of the image. And you have border type where you could set the border of the image as solid, double, dotted, or dashed. Once you pick a border type, you will see the border width, color, and radius. Let's pick a width of 6. And color. The border radius is a great setting because you could set the image as circled, round cornered, or squared. The default image is set as circled. However, if you insert zero, you will see on the page that the image is squared. Or you could place 20, and now you could see the rounded corners. Or 100, which is back to circled, etc. Now let's move on to the name. Here you also have the text color. And typography, let's customize it. Size, font, weight, let's give it 500. Transform, let's make it uppercase. Style, line height. As you can see, this sets the space between the name and the image and the name and the job below it and letter spacing. Now, last but not least, let's move on to the job. Text color, typography, size, font, weight, transform style, line height, and letter spacing. All right, those were the style options for the testimonial widget. Now, let's give the testimonial a little touch of negative color. 
I'll begin by giving the section a background color. Let's make it blue. And now let's go back to the testimonial and change the style colors. Now I'll just put it in preview mode. And as you can see, it has given the widget a cool and creative touch. I hope you enjoyed this video. For more videos and tutorials, subscribe our YouTube channel or visit docs.elementor.com.